Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a exciting video, my unboxing of the MSI GTX uh, 770 Lightning Edition. This is, a, this is the 700 series, the second uh, highest in the 700 series card. It is um, overclocked, amazing, amazing overclocking capabilities. Uh, relatively, for this for this graph, it's got a 2 gigs of GDDR5 memory based on the GK104 uh, Kepler core. PCI 3.0, all of the boring stuff you already know. So you've watched many of these videos, I can tell, because this is exactly what I did. Uh, it has the Twin Frozen 4 thermal design. This is their Lightning Edition card, so literally their highest end card for this specific GPU. Um, you see a nice plane. Yay, that totally says performance. Um, <laughs> propeller bay technology, you get more airflow, it's, it's actually tuned. Uh, the fan to CFM versus noise ratio. Um, it has dust removal technology, this is an awesome thing MSI have done you know, on their own, it's their own thing. And it basically spins the fans the wrong way for a bit, for 30 seconds upon start up, there you go. Which helps remove dust build up on the heat sink, so, you know, you don't have to clean it as often or at all, maybe. Depending on how long you keep it for. It has a GPU reactor here, it's really hard to show you the bottom of this box, but the GPU reactor, uh, which actually is like a little uh, board, a little circuit board that filters the power a little bit extra so what they couldn't fit on the PCB there's actually a separate bit over where the GPU is housed and that sort of filters the uh, the power going to it a little bit more so there's a lot more different things on here if you want to see that I'll put a picture up of the whole box and you can pause it and, and read it all but it's very boring and I found that when I'm watching the videos I don't really want to see that stuff so I'm just going to open open this bad boy up and take it out of this box here's the, <laughs> the, the boring black box inside so we can open this up too, add another full tab on it. I did a great job here, am I? Oh, and there's more packaging, love it. So there's a nice bit of soft foam, which is one of those tech tips um, tribute there. And we can take the card out itself. So it's in an anti-static bag, obviously. You can see the, the beautiful design of the card. It's 11 inches long, it's very long, compared to a normal graphics card. If you're upgrading from a a normal user to like a power user with this card then you will be like whoa it's actually bigger than I thought it would be which is which is brilliant we have an SLI connector this will cover what four slots yeah probably about four maybe three um, slots there it's golden it's not nice uh, but you know still it's an MSI one and um, we have a quick start guide or quick users guide or I have no idea just telling you all of the features that are on this card where it came from and there are other products to try and sell you another graphics card which is Weird. We have a certification of quality and stability, telling you that the overclock that's already on this car, which is what, 1156, something like that, not 1156, but 1100 something overclock, um, is been certified in all the components of Brill. And we have a driver and utility CD, so this is MSI Afterburner, um, as well as all the drivers. Don't use it because you're getting non update drivers, and we have a box here with stuff that just fell out, which is real. So we have um, two 6 to 8 pin PCIe adapters, so this card um, requires two 8 pin PCIe things, so they're there in case you don't have power supply. We have some voltage regulation thingy-bajingies, so this is for reading the, the direct voltages on the card if you have a, a Republic of Gamers motherboard, and a DVI to VGA adapter. Okay, so now the outside of the box is done, which we don't really care about. Let's be honest, we bought it for this, we didn't buy it for the, the quite nice packaging. I'm going to take it out of the anti-static uh, wrapper, so just put it on this plastic. And take it off. Now, by first impressions, this is a huge card. Um, but that is because the best card I've ever owned was a um, HIS Radeon 6870. So, can take it. Now what this card basically is, is the highest end GTX 770 you can really buy. As apparently, I think it is the best uh, power delivery uh, componentry on uh, a GTX 770. Um, apart from going to 4 gigs of RAM, this is highest you can really go. I'm, I may be wrong, but this is literally, I think, the highest you can really get to. Um, so MSI done, done, has done lightning for the GTX 680. They've now brought it over the same design and everything, which we all love, to the GTX 770. And their six, uh, the 780 card is coming out rumoured soon. So they, they've made it, they just haven't released it yet. So the, the main thing that will pop out of this card for you is probably this. This is the GPU reactor. Now underneath here, which I'm going to try and take off, but I have a bad wrist. He excuses himself, but... Okay, well I can't get it off because it's it's actually uh, very stiff and that really hurt my fingers. But it's basically a little PCB over the graphics core on the other side of where it gets soldered in. And it just sort of filters the power a little bit more. And is sort of 
filtration that cannot be done directly on the core. So it has a back plate, which is awesome. Uh, cools passively, and I've, I think I've scratched that. You know, I have as well. Bollocks. Um, it passively cools the, the 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 RAM on the back of the card, uh, as well as the, uh, the solder points for some of the. Um, Capacitors and, and transistors and everything. Not transistors, just capacitors. Um, we have two uh, SLI connectors here, so that's up to four-way SLI, same as GTX 680. We have a PCI 3.0 bridge, um, or oh, bridge, wow. Uh, PCI 3.0 connector here. Moving along, we can see this is literally uh, a huge card. The fins go right to the end of the graphics card, so you can see that there. Go right to the end. We can take a look in this side, this is the side that would be facing the motherboard. We have some really big heat pipes, this is like what, 8 mil, mil thick heat pipes there? Uh, 6 mil and I think another 8 mil. Going off from the GPU core, which is right under there, I don't know if you can see that, I'll probably put a little picture up. But that is literally being dissipated through the massive thin array, which is huge. We have two 100 um, millimeter fans, so 10 centimeter fans, which is a bit of a weird thing, but they're very quiet, literally turning them, you know, you usually hear a bit of... Um, vibration or a little bit of turbulence but not at all with these you shouldn't really do this to fans but you know still twin frozen branding there which is awesome and the amazing looking black and yellow color scheme you can disagree but personally i think it looks awesome and on the front here which is what you'll see if you have it inside the case is the msi logo a nice fat heat pipe and the back plate which is cool in terms of power it uses two 8 pin PCIe um, fan connect uh, uh, power connections but MSI do include two 6 pin to 8 pin adapters so you can power this with a, a normal a, no a normal power supply. In terms of I.O. we have um, two DVI ports, one is analog uh, I believe and one is digital but they may both be digital, I'm not really sure. Boom, one's digital and one is analog. We also have a HDMI and a display port. Now, all of these connectors are actually gold plated. This won't do much, it will sort of help in terms of interference, but apart from that, it won't do very much. So, I'm going to grab the uh, GTX 770 Lightning Edition here. So, it's pretty damn big. And if you have a look, this is the Fractal Design Define R4, and it actually comes over to the hard drive cages. So, I don't know whether it will go in with the hard drive cages, but we'll see. So, I'm going to take off the uh, PCIe 3.0 bracket, um, or little placeholder here. Don't touch those pins uh, like I just bloody did. Um, make sure you've taken out the slot covers as well for the for the graphics card and just sort of slide it in. I have to take out this USB connector here because it's a bit in the way. So you can just sort of slide that in. Boom, you hear the click and it is installed. So. Okay, so now the graphics card is installed completely um, and we're just going to put the side panel on and boot the system up to see if the awesome has worked. There you go guys, that was my unboxing and quick look at the MSI uh, GTX 770 Lightning Edition card. This card will run you about £350-ish in the UK, uh, which is maybe a little bit overpriced for what you get, but it's still the highest end GTX 770 you can get. So there you go, there's a quick video of it. You can see how nice it looks in my rig here. I have blue accents, blue lighting, and uh, a bit of a yellow spark coming from my graphics card and my Corsair power supply. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. If you could also hit the like button, that really helps me out, and hit subscribe for future videos.